Good afternoon, everybody. This is Mark Ruskin, the Chief Strategy Officer at Pixelot, coming to you from NAB 2018. If you couldn't make it here in person, I'm going to give you a little bit of a background on Pixelot, what our technology does. Pixelot is really the world leader in automatic production for sports. And what that means is that we can produce games in full HD with no camera operator. This allows us to give our customers the opportunity to create more content that they've ever created before and to do it less expensive than they've ever done it before. So all of these videos have been produced without the help of a human. And it's a really interesting process that Pixelot uses to put these videos together. Our camera head units actually capture a 180 degree view of the playing surface. Whether it's a field, a court, a pitch, or an ice hockey rink, we're capturing 180 degrees. Then through a combination of algorithms and artificial intelligence, we're creating a virtual camera that sits on top of the 180 degree view and produces the play. As you can see behind me, it pans and tilts. It also zooms to follow the most important action of the game, just as if a human camera operator were doing it, but remember, there's no human. Additionally, in our broadcast, we have some enhancements. In some of the videos, you'll be able to see that there's a score bar and running score clock. We do this by directly integrating with the scoreboard in the venue, bringing it into a series of cloud services we have that create gorgeous overlays. We interlay the video and present it. So I wanted to talk just for a couple of moments about the head units that actually do the capturing of the content, because this is what really makes the Pixelot system unique. Behind me, you'll see two different styles of head units. This unit here is two camera units. Both of them cover 180 degrees of the field. This unit here is our really high-end unit. These are each five megapixel cameras. You'll see that there's four of them. Together, they cover 180 degrees of the playing field. And what the Pixelot solution does is takes those cameras and stitches them together to create one unified view of the entire field. So even though we're using four cameras, it looks like one in that 180 degree view. So I wanted to talk just for a moment about our coaching solution. Pixelot really has three levels of solution. The first one was our base broadcasting solution, which we call Pixelot S. This one here is a Pixelot C, which stands for coaching. And then we have the Pixelot A, which is our advanced system. For now, I want to focus on the coaching system. The coaching system, very similar to the broadcast system, carries this 180 degree view. And you can see as the box moves around, this is what the camera's seeing and how it's producing the play. But what you can also see are the yellow and green boxes that are additional virtual angles, not cameras, but actual virtual angles that we can create on the 180 degree view. What this does is it allows coaches using our laptop software with a joystick that is pan, tilt, and zoom, and a jog shuttle for speed, fast forward, rewind, slow motion, or frame by frame, to really get into any area of the court, field, pitch, or ice. It allows them to break down the game film in ways that they've never been able to do it before. In a traditional sense, if a cameraman's focused down one end of the field, that's all he can see. And if something happens behind the play, it leaves the coach blind. With the Pixelot system, we're capturing 180 degrees at all times, allowing a coach to see everything, everywhere, every time, in any device that he wants. So I want to introduce my colleague, Yossi Tarablis, Pixelot's Director of Marketing, who's going to help me with a short demo of some additional features and functions that are available inside all of the Pixelot systems. The first we've already spoken about, this is our core automatic production. We'll move on next to a really great feature which we call additional camera angles. So beyond the autonomous camera that produces the game using artificial intelligence, you can add additional angles. These additional angles can be fixed stationary cameras, remotely controlled cameras, or even human operated cameras, and integrate directly into the broadcast with our advanced system. One of the other great features in the Pixelot system is that we provide some tools to help our partners monetize their content. A lot of our partners talk about ads, and you can see Yossi's moved on here to show one of these ads. This ad happens to be in the overlay format where it blocks the video behind it, it presents the ad and ultimately would go away either when the ad completed or when the director cut it off. Again, this is available in our advanced system and it's soon to be available in our REST system as well. One of the really great features we've added recently are super high-end graphics. These graphics are produced in the cloud, delivered down to our video processing unit, then overlaid on top of the video. If in the case there's a live running score clock, that gets integrated as well directly from the clock inside the arena. And you can see that Yossi has showed two different versions of the overlays just for this example. We can ultimately build any overlay you can think of as long as it fits within the broadcast window. Next up, I want to talk about the ability for 
anybody to mark highlights. This is for coaches and for parents and for fans. Watching the game, specifically on the mobile app, you can easily create a highlight, collect that highlight, and then distribute it on the platform of your choice. It could be Facebook or YouTube or Twitter or even Instagram. Anywhere you want, we can deliver these highlights. What I just described before was a human making highlights. This is one of our newest features. These are our automatic highlights. Today available in basketball, what we're able to do is to capture every basket and make it into its own highlight. We're then able to put those together and put all the highlights together and make a highlight reel. Next up, we have the commentators tab. You're not going to hear much because here at NAB today, it is crazy busy. There are people swarming around everywhere. So you can't hear the commentators in this example, but I promise you they're there. This is for play-by-play, -play, color, even a sideline reporter. All can be integrated into the simple broadcast. Lastly, we have what we call manual production mode. This is going to look really similar to the coaching mode demo I showed you before. They're built on fundamentally the same platform. This is for the case where you want to have a director or producer actually create the game content, call the cuts, drop the overlays, and even fade in, fade out the audio talent or audio commercials. This is a great feature available in our advanced system, and it is available to anybody that wants to produce their own content in either a fully manual mode or a hybrid mode, using the autonomous camera to follow the action and then bringing in the additional angles where necessary. So the last thing we wanted to share with you today is the mobile experience that Pixelot has created. And this really involves three major functions. What you can see on the mobile screen right now is the automatically produced view, just like you saw on the web demo we did a moment ago. But what gets really neat is what you can do what we call the panoramic view. So you've heard me talk a couple of times about how we actually capture the video and then how our AI algorithms actually produce the HD feed. What Yossi is showing now is the underlying 180 degree video, which is in 4K or 8K, depending upon the camera head, and then the ability to manipulate that. Right now he's doing it with his fingers, but if you watch closely, you'll start to move the actual phone itself. And in moving the phone, it gives you a virtual reality type experience where you can look around the pitch and see exactly what's going on at any point in time. So the last thing that we wanted to show you is around the clipping functionality that we've built into the mobile application. So we already talked about as you're watching a game, you can zoom in and zoom out and look around the field. If you wanted to follow your son or daughter or niece or nephew or even a friend, this is really easy to do by using the zoomed in view. But we can also create clips. The clips can be tagged with things like a red card or yellow card, or they can just be standard clips that you want to take and share on a social platform. Yossi's demonstrating the different tags available right now, and ultimately he'll cut a clip and show you how that's all done. We're recording now, and as soon as Yossi says that it's over, he'll finish the recording, and that clip will become almost instantly available to you in the clip viewer to be shared on any platform you'd like.